In the second magnetism lesson, we talked about magnetic field lines produced by a long straight current. Let's say we have this long straight current I. The dot with a circle around it tells us that the current comes out of the page like this. If I use my thumb to follow the current, the curved four fingers tell me that the magnetic field lines will go counterclockwise. If I draw the magnetic field lines, I would get circles. They are exactly circles because of the cylindrical symmetry for the long straight current. The closer we are to the current, the stronger the magnetic field. Because it's kind of like the closer we are to the current, the smaller the circle the magnetic strength has to be spread out to. The farther away, the weaker the field, because the strength has to be spread out onto a bigger circle. So the magnetic field must be proportional to 1 over 2 pi r, the strength divided by the circumference 2 pi r. It is also reasonable for us to say that the strength of the magnetic field is proportional to the current I. If we double the current, the field should be twice as strong. Of course, the 1 over 2 pi here is a constant, so B is proportional to I over R. So the magnetic field must be a constant times I over R. It turns out that the magnetic field produced by a long straight current equals to mu naught I divided by 2 pi R, where the R is the distance to the long straight current, and the mu naught is the permeability of free space. The free space here means vacuum and the mu naught equals to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th tesla times meters per amp. You do need to know this equation, but you do not have to memorize the mu naught value. By the way, this mu is the magnetic permeability of a material. It is related to how easy it is for us to magnetize the material. For ferromagnetic materials such as iron, cobalt, nickel, and some alloy of rare earth metals, Mu is much greater than mu naught, the mu for vacuum. For other material, mu would be very similar to mu naught. That's why we often put an iron core inside a coil when we make electromagnets. Because of the much greater mu for iron, an iron core can increase the strength of an electromagnet often by thousands of times. Even though an iron core can make the electromagnet much heavier, it is still worth having the iron core.